What's up everyone, I'm Danny Kelly. Today we're gonna to talk through 10 intriguing teams for this year's draft. We're gonna kind of talk about what they need going into the draft, uh, their dream scenario coming out of the draft, and then a more realistic take on what they could end up getting out of the draft. Are you guys thinking this yeah, is a little too dry? I think Chris is gonna do a bit in, in post and we'll figure it out. Sunday, 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 Danny Kelly, the dark night of the NFL draft. Talking team needs. All these teams need the dark prince in their life. Satan! <laughs> Alright, first up we got the Oakland Raiders. They've got four picks in the top 35. Number four, number 24, number 27, and number 35. Where do these guys even play? Vegas or Oakland? Remember when Gruden traded Amari Cooper and Khalil Mack? Gnarly! Some of the Raiders' top needs this year. Running back, edge, cornerback. And someone to hide the phone so that Gruden doesn't trade Antonio Brown for a used copy of Andrew Luck's Stanford Pro Day! So here's the dream scenario. Josh Allen. That guy won the Bronco Nagurski Award! That's shred! Past that, if they could get Greedy Williams, plus Jawan Taylor or Cody Ford, one of the top tackles in the class, and then get Josh Jacobs with their second round pick, that is an absolute dream scenario. What they might really get, I still think they can get Josh Allen, that's very realistic, and then instead of Greedy Williams, DeAndre Baker. DeAndre Baker is a ball hawk! <laughs> And then later in the first, you get Dalton Risner, very good tackle, and then in the early second, a guy like David Montgomery. All right, next up, we got the Packers. They have two picks in the first round, number 12 and number 30. These guys fired Mike McCarthy because he lost to the Cardinals at home. Truly the work of the Dark Prince Morningstar. So my dream scenario for the Packers would be either Devin Bush, Devin White, linebackers, at number 12, plus, if this somehow happens, get TJ Hawkinson at number 30. If he falls, that would be the absolute dream scenario for them. Now they have a guy named LaFleur coaching them! That means the flower in French. What they're more likely to get, TJ Hawkinson at number 12. I don't think he's gonna last much longer than that. And then if they can get a tackle at number 30, maybe Andre Dillard, Cody Ford, I think that would be an excellent first round for them. And it's realistic. All right, next up, we got the Atlanta Falcons with the 14th pick. Visit the Atlanta Aquarium, monsters of the deep. The Falcons' absolute dream scenario is if Ed Oliver falls number 14. Major Applewhite tried to get this guy to take off his winter coat and he almost fought him. Sick! More realistic though, they could get Cleland Furl or Greedy Williams. Greedy, greedy, greedy! Next up we got the Steelers. They have the 20th pick in the draft. LOL, Pittsburgh traded all their good players! After shipping off Antonio Brown, they could use another dynamic playmaker on offense. The dream scenario to me is DK Metcalf. This guy makes Leonidas look like John Goodman. He may not fall that low though, so the more realistic scenario could be either Hakeem Butler or AJ Brown at that spot. All right, next up we got the Ravens at number 22. Reed. The absolute dream scenario for the Ravens would be to have Montez Sweat still at that spot. Montez Sweat is sweating because he's laying guys out in hell. All right, after running like a 4-4 at the Combine, Sweat's most likely gonna go in the top 10. He's really long, really athletic. He's got the upside through the roof, so he would be an ideal pick at that spot. More realistically, none of the top pass rushers are gonna be available at that spot, so they could end up going with a receiver. I really like Nikhil Harry for them at that spot. Next up, we got the Texans with a 23rd pick. Bill O'Brien's chin dimple is evil. So the Texans absolutely need to get someone that's gonna be able to protect Sean Watson. The dream scenario would be if Jonah Williams somehow falls to that spot. Juwan Taylor is another option. Either of those guys would be an absolute steal. More realistically, a guy like Andre Dillard from Wazoo, he's probably gonna still be available at that spot. Or don't look past Greg Little from Ole Miss. All right, next up we got the Colts with a 26 pick. Chris Ballard is Mephistopheles! All right, so the Colts still need some talent on offense. I think DK Metcalf would be a huge get. He's so jacked! Past that, they could use some corner help. Byron Murphy or Greedy Williams would be a steal at this spot. More realistically, you could see Hakeem Butler fall here, or I think DeAndre Baker, who's fallen a little bit lately, could end up still being at that spot. Next up, we got the Kansas City Chiefs with a 29th pick. All right, so the Chiefs obviously still need some pass rush help. I think a dream scenario would be if a guy like Cleland Furl was still there. This guy reminds people of Cliff Averill! More realistically, none of the top pass rushers are still gonna be there at number 29, so they might have to go for a guy like Ja'Kai Polite, who's had a tough post-combine experience, did not test well at the combine, did not test well as pro day, uh, but he could still be there, obviously, at that spot. Is Patrick Mahomes Rosemary's baby? Next up, we got the Los Angeles Rams at number 31. God, Sean McVay is cool! 
For me, the dream scenario for the Rams, if Garrett Bradbury is still there at number 31, he's an excellent center, they need that position, It'd be a perfect fit. If that doesn't happen, a guy like Dexter Lawrence, who could still be there, is a great option. This guy tested positive for metal! All right, next up we got the champs, the New England Patriots at number 32. Hill Satan! Rob Gronkowski's retirement, to me the dream scenario would be either Noah Fant or TJ Hawkinson there, still at number 32. That's not likely to happen, so to me a good consolation prize, Irv Smith from Alabama, very versatile player. Bill Belichick loves drafting guys from Tuscaloosa. I really hope you enjoyed my team needs, dream scenario. And nightmares! I'm Danny Kelly. Do you need some honey? <laughs>